بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you everybody? I have been asked many times about how to calculate the mode step in our algorithm using the scientific calculator. So today I will talk about how to get the mode using the scientific calculator. First we have some cases for calculation. The first case if A less than B. The second case if A equal B. The third case if greater than B. The first case, if A uh, less than B, A mod B will equal A. And the second case, if A equal B, A mod B will equal 0. And the third case, if A greater than B, A mod B will equal some steps. Okay. Also, we have another cases. If we have negative A, how we calculate negative A mod B? And also, if we have multiplicative inverse A mod B, how we calculate it on our calculator? In the first case, A greater than B, A mod B will calculate it from these two steps. The first step, we will divide A by B. It will get us K with some decimal number, with some decimal numbers, okay? In the second step, we will multiply K by B and subtract it from A. So we get our result. For example, if we have 31 mod 26, we will divide 31 by 26 then we will take the integer number only from this result multiply it with 26 then subtract it from 31 it will give us 5 okay let's check it together on our calculator 31 over 26 then we'll go to subtract 1 times 26 it gives us 5 so 31 mod 26 equal 5 and the second case if we have negative a mod b first step we will divide a by b then in the second step we will take the absolute of k of the results without its decimal numbers okay plus 1 in the third step we get the new k the new k will equal minus k, the first result, plus b. Then we'll multiply the new k by p. It will give us our results. Okay, let's take an example. For example, a negative 150 mod 26. A negative 150 over 26 equal negative 5 and some decimal numbers. Okay, absolute 5 plus 1 equal 6. The new k will equal the first result plus 6. It will give us this number. We'll take this number, multiply by 26, will equal 6. Okay, let's check this on our calculator. Negative 150 over 26 equal... Okay, negative 5, we will add to it 1, we get 6. Okay, plus 6. we got this result times 26 equal 6 so negative 150 more 26 it will give us 6 it's equal 6 okay the last case we have if you want to calculate the multiplicative inverse module for a mod b okay first step we will divide b by a not a by b b by a then if its result a fraction, we will go to the second step. In the second step, we will add 1 to the number of p. If its result a fraction, in the third step, we will add another b. If its result fraction, we will add another b. Okay. As long as it gives us a fraction, we will add another b. If it gives us an integer, in this case, we got our result, which we need. For example, if you want to calculate multiplicative inverse for 7 power negative 1 mod 26, first we will divide 26 by 7, then we will add 1, we will add 26, and so on, as long as we get our results as an integer number. Okay, let's check on our calculator, 26 over 7, it's a fraction, so we will add... 1 plus 1 
equal another fraction. So we will add another 26, another fraction, we will add 26, we will add 26, or equal 15. So the multiplicative inverse of 7 mod 26 will equal 15. Finally, thank you everybody. I hope all of you understand now how to calculate the module using your certificate calculator well. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.